Semiconductors are the electronic brains of most of the devices you interact with in your life. Mobile phones to laptops, smartwatches, online applications for social media, entertainment, shopping, medical applications, including things like cancer detection, human genome mapping. All of these things are propelled by innovations in the semiconductor industry. Companies specializing in software, hardware, and analytics tailored for the semiconductor industry are critical for providing capabilities for technology advancement and high volume manufacturing. PDF Solutions provides advanced analytics and unique data to the semiconductor ecosystem. We provide the tools and the insight to collect data in the AI-driven analysis that allows them to bring new products, new processes to market at a much more rapid clip than they can on their own. PDF got started in the early 1990s when the U.S. was at that time concerned about manufacturing and funded the research at a lot of the universities. We always looked at how are we there for our industry as the industry makes the next transition. We anticipated the transition to the contract manufacturer and what that meant in the way you use software to bring design to manufacturing. We've anticipated 3D processing in the way for fab, 3D processing in the assembly facilities, and what that means from an analytics and data collection standpoint. From just manufacturing analytics, we've expanded into test operations and assembly operations. Today, people are moving to chiplets. They're moving to complex 3D integration. Over time, we use this moving not just from technology development and ramp of new products, but into the stable mass production as we've gotten to the point where the need for semiconductors and the need for advanced analytics extended more broadly through our industry and all our consumer electronics. As a consulting company, we got cycles of learning that other companies couldn't get. That led to an understanding of technology and what is the right technology to build to do that job really well. We developed the Accensio platform to combine data from across the semiconductor ecosystem into a single scalable database. We're dealing with new architectures, new integration schemes. We need to see the invisible. Designs now are much more susceptible to what we call systematic defects. Defects appear at very specific locations that we call hotspots. So we use our design analysis software, which couples with AI and pattern recognition to find those precise locations where things are likely to fail. What the ePROBE does is acts as a contactless electrical tester that goes to those precise hotspot locations. It scans the wafer at basically millions of nanometers per second. It measures these locations in tens of nanoseconds and billions of ducts in one hour. The time I spent at PDF fundamentally changed how I do my job and the way I look at doing my job, and I'm taking that with me into the new positions that I have since PDF. Being creative and giving yourself the freedom to be creative, even if you don't really understand everything about the domain, can lead to things you didn't expect. Working at PDF, we were always pushing the boundaries of something that we didn't necessarily know everything about, what we kind of knew was the right direction to go. And that led to insights that, hey, this could be possible, let's do it, is the value of fearless creativity. When I meet with people, they're always questioning like, how much longer can this go on? How much more is there really to make computers and things smarter? Now, everyone's very excited by generative AI, but if you look at something like ChatGPT4, the new uh, algorithm from OpenAI, it took 7.2 gigawatt hours to train that model. That would run cities. Your brain consumes 300 watt hours a day. The efficiency that the human brain has is massively more than what we have in compute today. Setting a vision for the future is a way that can attract new people that are coming into the industry to go and look and say, wow, I want to be part of the team that figures out how to make computing and information processing as efficient and as productive as the human brain can, but at a scale that you can do with computers.